All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the whole flight of Israel. And the title's lesson is going to be The Wrath of the Lamb. All right, so who is that Lamb? All right, who is the Lamb? It's talking about Yahushai. Okay, because you read Revelation 5th chapter, what, reading like the 11th or 12th verse, you know, goes into the angels in heaven, you know, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power. All right, glory, you know, honor, riches, you know, roughly paraphrasing, but it's talking about Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai was slain to what? To receive power. All right, by his obedience, all right, by him dying the death of the cross, all right, he what? He sits now on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so the day of the Lord, okay, is the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because. The Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai to bring forth the wrath. Okay? Yahweh Shai is coming to do the will. Alright? And the will of the Father is to bring death and destruction upon his planet Earth. Okay? So the wrath of the Lamb, you know, is 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 soon approaching. Okay? And it's going to be upon all the wicked upon uh, of the planet Earth. Okay? And starting with the chief wicked, alright. The head of the wicked is Esau even so called white man. Alright? So um here, I'm going to start in Isaiah 63, start at the top of verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Alright. So, Basra, or Bozra, have you pronounce it, is a chief city in the land of Edom. Alright. So, going into today, modern day Basra, or Bozra, will be so called America. Alright. So called America is a chief city of Edom. Alright. So called white man Esau Edom. All right, so we'll read again Isaiah 63 verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? All right, it's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, because why? Because the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, you know, and going to that great sacrifice in the land of Basra, the land of America, all right, so called America, all right, this is what has been prophesied, all right, from the beginning that death, destruction, all right, you know, and bloodshed is going to be spilt upon this planet, okay. You know, and, and, and especially talking about so-called America because of all the blood and destruction and death that this place has put out upon the Lord's people, okay? You know, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. This place is polluted, all right, by blood, all right? So blood's going to be what? The end of Esau, Eden, so-called white man, all right? Isaiah 63, verse 1. Who is this that coming from Eden with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Okay, so it's talking about again, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, okay, traveling all right, with his armies, okay, the host of angels, all right, which travel in what the world only calls UFOs, which are the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay. Continue on. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, all right, so the Lord's coming to save who? His elect, that's it, okay, because two thirds of wrong people, they're included with the destruction and death, uh, and this time of the wicked, okay. You know, they're going to be taken out with the wicked. All right, they'll come back, all right, righteous vessels, all right, in the kingdom. But on this side, they're going to be cut off and die. Because why? Because it's been prophesied. All right? They've grown as a branch with the wicked, okay? They join hand in hand, so they're going to be thrown in the fire. It's going to be these thermonuclear missiles. So, continuing, I'll read again. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, okay? Because the Lord, he wants his people to repent. Okay, that's why you see out uh, on highways and byways is his, his men, all right, trying to tell you to turn back onto him. Because why? Because... Destruction is coming. All right. If you're not covered and it's time to come, you're going to be destroyed. All right. And no matter who you are. All right. So, uh, continue verse 2. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Because again, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed. Okay. Then that body count's going to go to who? Yahweh Bashmi El Shai. Okay. Because you read Deuteronomy, uh, what, 32nd chapter, you know, uh, what, 39 verse. All right. See that I, even I, am, am he. There is no uh, God with me. I kill, I make alive. I roughly paraphrase and I wound and heal. Um, what? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay, that body count goes to Yahweh Bashmi or Shine. Okay? Because why? Because vengeance belongeth to him. All right? And he's going to recompense. All right? He's going to take out the wicked in due time. All right? And again, the wicked is as well in this time, two thirds of wrong people. All right? So, uh, really quick here, let me get it. This is Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, and uh, I started verse 15. 
For behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yashai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Because now not only are these thermonuclear missiles going to bring uh, fire, okay, but the chariots, okay. So it says, uh, for behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yashai will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. Okay, so read up earlier in Isaiah 63rd chapter, what? Uh, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Okay, those the you know going into the army. Okay, the angels that follow him, that follow him. Okay, and so called you are false. All right, as, as Isaiah sixty six and verse sixteen. For by fire and by the sword will the Lord Yahweh Shai plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be many. Okay, so that's the time we're coming into. Okay, because many that are upon the planet Earth are going to die of famine. All right, sword. All right. Pestilence, all right, and so on and so forth, all right, because why? Because this is the anger of the Lord, because they made void the law of Yahweh Shemeshai, which is the law of His commandments, all right, that He gave unto His people first and foremost to execute upon the planet Earth, all right. But um, it's not being honored in this land, okay. So that's why we're going to what was in the Psalm 6 chapter, this kingdom getting ready to be taken out, because why? Because they have not judged the right, all right. They judged wickedly, all right. So this kingdom getting ready to be translated. To uh, 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 going into what so the 10th chapter, uh, you know, the power of the Lord is the the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord in due time. You set up one that's profitable. All right, so the Lord is coming to bring destruction, but the mercy is due His elect. All right, that's going to equate to the mercy of the rest of the world. Okay, because if it wasn't for the elect's sake, no flesh should be saved. All right, that's why it says when the righteous and authority people rejoice, people are going to be thankful. All right, that what the Lord has done because why? Because He set up His His children. In power, okay, on the Yabashim and Shai. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Isaiah 63 and verse 3. Isaiah 63, verse 3. I have trod in the wine press alone. Again, that goes back with, uh, you know, priest I quoted in Deuteronomy 32nd chapter. All right, continuing. And of the people, there was none with me, for I would tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. Okay. <laughs> You know, and 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 it's and it's like uh, Yahshua's not gonna let no you know these these devils' blood get on his garments. You know, it's symbolic, okay? You know, because he's not coming back as a man. All right, who knows what kind of garment he's gonna have on? You know, we give it a, we get a description, but as far as the power and the glory, we're gonna have to see with our own eyes, okay? You know, because that's what that day consists of. All right, the the reveal, all right, uh, of Yahweh Shai coming from the clouds. All right, from, well coming from the heavens. All right. <clears throat> So uh, here it is, verse four. Um, For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. All right, Lord's will twenty twenty year prophecy. Hey, this is the year of the the Lord redeemed. Okay, you know, and in, in, uh, my redeemed, he's talking about possessive. Okay, again, he's talking about the elect. All right, the elect of you, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, so the, and it says the day of vengeance is in my heart. Okay, for what he's did, this devil did to his people. He himself. Okay, when he's on the cross, you know, with the humiliation, you know, so on and so forth, all right? But, um, hey, what's up? Um, continuing, what, uh, just, uh, verse 5. Um, and I looked, and there was none to help, and wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me okay so again this is going into the balance of the lord because a false balance is an abomination okay so you know people thinks as this 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 day that's approaching is the end of the world like the end of the entire planet earth all right when the end of the world means the end of an age all right the age of the wicked rulership all right of this earth all right which is headed by esau even so called white man all right as esau is the end of the world the end of this age all right so by the Lord's wrath is going to bring forth beautiful things. Okay, you think the wrath of Esau, he kills everything. All right, but by the, the wrath and the death that the Lord's going to bring upon the planet Earth is going to equate to life eternal. All right, which belongs unto you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. All right, first and foremost. So going back to it, Isaiah 63 and verse 5. And I, did I read that? It's like, uh, in verse 6. And I will tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. All right, and this sounds like as uh, Deuteronomy thirty second chapter. Okay, you know, um, going into uh, what I think it's like the forty second verse. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh. Roughly paraphrasing, you know, 
uh, what in the with the blood of the slain and of the captives from you know roughly paraphrase it's, it's just talking about Yahweh Shai. I would say that if I wet my glittering sword, okay, you know, he's gonna reward them that hate him. All right, he's talking about why is the Lord so mad? You obviously have no idea what's going on going on upon the planet Earth, okay? You know, you've been you've been asleep, you know, as it is written, you know, you've been given the spirit of slumber. All right, you know, the happiest man on the Earth is the blindest man on the planet Earth, okay? And even if you're blind, you know this place is hell. All right, but um, going back going back into it, all right. Again, the title's lesson mean the wrath of the Lamb, okay? You know, the wrath is going to come by the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, okay? That's why we say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so it's Revelation chapter 6. I'll start at verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, and the hair and the moon became as blood. Yep, I'll read again. Uh, Revelation 6 and 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, right? And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, all right? In verse 13, is going to make it clear what it's talking about. And the stars of heaven fell upon the earth, even as a fig tree, <gasps> slock you, even as a fig tree, casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. So, you know, this is talking about, I'll keep on reading, all right? Keep on reading, get the, the scripture speak. Verse 14, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it rolled together. Even, it's like, and, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. It's talking about these thermonuclear missiles, all right? Because it talks about, Isaiah talked about this, all right? The heavens being rolled together as a scroll, a scroll, all right? The earth being shaken to and fro as a drunkard, okay? Because when these missiles hit, it's going to rock the earth, okay? And it's going to be great devastation, all right? Because that's what these things were created for, to bring forth the instrument of the Lord's work, which is destruction, all right? But again, the balance of the Lord, which is so beautiful, you know, these as, as destructive as these, as these weapons are, right, when, they're, when they're used correctly, okay, the Lord is going to what? Bring forth life, okay? Good morning. All right, uh, it's verse 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and free men, hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountain. So these elites, okay, the elites are, are they, they're already, they're already in their bunkers now, okay? They're getting prepped up. Okay, if this happens, we're going to do this, that happens, we're going to do that, because these devils are going to put forward their new world order. But in the back of their mind, they know it's going to fail, okay? Because Revelation 12 and 12 says, you know, uh, he's going to come down with great wrath, knowing he had but a short time. He knows his time is limited, because his kingdom has been numbered, okay? Esau loves numbers. He looks into the sky, skies, he can tell you when it's going to rain uh, by, by these algorithms, all right? But he, he puts an algorithm about him in his kingdom. He knows it's done, okay? So they're going to hide themselves. That's like it says in the book of Amos. Okay, they're going to dig into hell right, and try to go out of space. They're going to try to go into the depths of the sea. All right, they're going to be grabbed up, okay? Because that goes into what? The Lord's fish is being turned to hunters, okay? But these elites, they know they're going to hide. They're not even probably in America no more. The elites, elites, they're going to these elite banking families of Esau because you regular Edomites, you guys are through, okay? You know? But it said, uh, you know, every bondman, every free man, all right? You know, because even these regular Edomites, they know. Like, they have their doomsday preppers. They have bunkers. They have places to hide, okay? Because they know all hell's about to break loose, all right? You know, but it's still not going to save you from these thermonuclear missiles. And even if you do escape, you know, the destruction, all right? Uh, you're going to be first fruits in slavery. Talking about Esau, Edom, and the rest of you heathen nations, okay? Because the other heathen nations don't get a free pass either, all right? You're going to get it uh, not as bad as Esau, but you're still going to get it. Okay, so it's verse 16, uh, Revelation 6 and 16, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. Okay, because these devils know that Yahweh Shire is returning. They know that Yahweh Shire is returning. They're, they have astrologers and stargazers. All right, they, they know what's up in the sky. Okay, we can speculate. All right, but these devils know because they have they have telescopes and, and all these all this technology to look into the heavens all right so they see these chairs okay you know and they know that Yahweh Shai is coming okay going into that fathership all right which it looked like a mountain that's what Ezra thought it was so big he thought it was a mountain okay but no it's the it's you know this is the glory of the heavenly father Yahweh Shai okay so it's verse 17 Revelation 6 and 17 for the day Okay, for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand okay because every knee is going to bow all right even the elect you know 
Lord then beamed us up. All right, we'll be through. Okay, us being delivered between the sixth and seventh trumpet. All right, we'll be done. Okay, but according to the Lord's mercy, because he remembered you know, the covenant or the promise he made to our forefathers, he's going to save us. Okay, set us up and, uh, you know, get everything back in order. Okay, so again, this destruction is beautiful. All right, you look into the word doom. Doom is a beautiful word. Okay, going to the etymology of doom. All right, that's a beautiful word. Okay, and doom is coming because doom is beautiful. Because, you know, this place is this place is through. Okay, this place sucks. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out here. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. And I'll start at verse 7. Into, into you who are troubled rest with us. All right. You that are troubled. All right. And, 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 and talking about Jacob. Okay. You know, it's not talking about you other, you others. Okay. You know, you're troubled too. Okay. But you, there's no rest for you. All right. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh, uh, Bashan Yahshai, okay, I read again, I read verbatim. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. It's all saying the same thing because why? This is going to happen. This is, this is the story that's going to play out upon the planet Earth. That will be done as is in heaven, as it so shall be on the earth. Roughly, roughly paraphrasing, okay? You know? It's verse 8. And flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach. So, why is the Lord so mad because of rebellion? Rebellion, rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. Okay, and this is what this place is built off of. Okay, the the mother of harlots. Okay, you know, this place is built off rebellion. Okay, and rebellion is is an act of war. That's why war is coming. Okay. Again, read Revelation 12 chapter, okay? The war in heaven, all right? Read uh, 2nd Andrews 13 chapter, all right? The scriptures say the same exact narrative, okay? From beginning to end, all right? And the end is manifest, all right? <clears throat> Continuing, verse 9. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and the glory of his power? When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, his people, all right? And be admired in all of them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Okay. You know, if you don't believe now, you, you will believe soon. Okay. Because this is coming to everybody. Okay. The entire planet Earth is going to see him. Every eye shall see him. Okay. Revelation, the first chapter. Okay. So we're going to be glorified to him because why? Because I'll read again, verse 10. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints. Okay. His, his men are going to get spiritual powers. Okay. You know, his, and ultimately his people are going to be delivered. Okay. You know, because if you kill all of us, who's going to admire the work of the Lord? Okay, we can't praise him in the grave. Okay, the living, the living. Okay, so uh, Psalm with David. Okay, so the Lord's going to save. You know, that's why not every, not all of us going to taste of death because we have to be able to witness. All right, what the Lord's going to bring. All right, so we can he so we can praise him. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so uh, I'll read ten again. I'll, I'll close out verse twelve. When he when he shall come. 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 1 in verse 10, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, his people, all right, you know, who are his saints? Okay, read uh, one, Psalm 148 and uh, I'll read it. Psalm 148 verse 14, he also exalted the horn of his people, the strength of his people, horn represents strength, and the praise of all his saints, all right, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise the Lord, Yahweh, Bashan, Yahshai, so that's who the saints are, okay? So uh, continuing, verse 11, first, like it, second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 11. Wherefore also we pray always for you, all right? We're praying for the elect, all right? These videos are for the elect, the edifying of the body, okay? Nobody else, all right? That's what it's about right now, the elect. Uh, that's how it's always been about. Continuing that our power uh, would count you worthy of this calling, all right? Because many are called, but few are chosen, okay? He that endure to the end, shall, the same shall be saved, okay? It's about finishing, all right? Yeah, you're here, but we got to get somewhere, and that's out of here, okay? All right, into the arms of the Lord. Continuing. And fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness in the work of faith with power, okay? Faith is power, okay? Faith is a superpower, okay? Because you can see into the future, okay? You know, you have TV shows about people that can see into the future, and, you know, that's a superpower, but guess what? You got a superpower because you know the will of the Lord. Okay, and that's a great responsibility. That's power. Okay, that's why much is required of us, much more. All right, you know, we can never go far enough, but the effort must be there, the intent must be there. Okay, because the Lord's coming back to save the greatest people upon the planet Earth. All right, and you want to be part of that number, you got to what make your calling election sure. 
all right this is not no uh, light thing okay this is, this is big this is big time it's big leagues all right because these men and women are going to be the next rulers uh, to come all right first and foremost the men all right but by the men the rulership of the men hey the women are going to be straight too okay of our nation this verse 12 will close out that the name of our lord yahweh shai mashak may be glorified in you all right he's in you okay greater is he that is in the in you than so okay greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world okay the lord is inside of you okay the kingdom of heaven is within you okay that's power okay continuing i'll, I'll read again 12 and close out that the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashak may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our power in the Lord uh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay, so, you know, again, this calling, all right? You didn't choose yourself, he chose you, all right? That should be uh, something, you know, you, you think about, okay? You know, nothing you did in the world, all right, to, that equated to you understanding this truth, okay? This is what you call divine intervention. All right, the Lord saw you fit, you know, and called you, okay? But the point is to be chosen. That's where it's fighting to be. And you can't choose yourself. The Lord chooses you. But hey, you know, this is the this is this is what this calling calling consists of. You know, your faith, all right, and work it, you know, and, uh, until it's accomplished, all right. And that's when, when the Lord returns, all right. But with that, those words be edifying. As always, we give all praise to Yahweh Shem Shai, Yahweh Shem Kapodash. The bonus to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace and blessings to all for Israel. Shalom.